James, or Jim Flora, was an American commercial illustrator. He is widely known for his jazz and classical album cover art between the 1940s and 50s, but had a long and varied career. He started off working with Alex Steinweiss, who is credited as the inventor of album cover art. Flora is known for his cartoonish art style that incorporated humor, playfulness, the bizarre, erotic, and even macabre. In the 1940s and 50s, after World War II, mid-century modern became dominant in America, where animation also took a turn with United Productions of America, better known as UPA Industry, leading these changes with their heavily stylized works. Flora's work is playful, appears chaotic, with characters and objects participating in a world of their own, without any sense of gravity or physics. It appears childlike and provides a sense of nostalgia. Let's look at Jim Flora's 1954-1955 album cover illustration, Mambo for Cats. This was a various artist compilation album cover for RCA Records. Since it was designed as a record album cover, the composition is naturally square and has been done in an illustrative manner. In the top third, we have stylized lettering that mixes lower and upper cases in the three separate words. We have a standing larger cat running vertically on the left, a smaller one lying on its back in the bottom center, and a medium-sized third horizontal cat in the center slightly off to the right. These three cats are playing percussive musical instruments, with one playing what could possibly be a clarinet-like instrument. In the bottom right corner area, we have a larger percussive instrument that fills a rather larger space of the frame. Around the cover we have repetitive curved lines echoing the shapes and forms of their surroundings, filling in the remaining negative space. The cats are heavily stylized and are not portrayed realistically. Their proportions are angular and have a disregard for correct anatomy. The cats are also filled with pattern work, consisting of circles and triangular stripes. With the varying sizes of cats, instruments, and the pattern background, the composition appears energetic and has a rhythm or a sense of movement. Mambo for Cats has a limited color palette that utilizes both the warm and cool colors of red and turquoise. Black is also heavily used that appears to anchor the composition with weight. In the background line work, the color pattern is repeated with the red and turquoise, but it is less heavily saturated. These areas appear more faint due to the higher concentration of white applied. If made digitally in contemporary times, it would appear as if a lower level of opacity was used. This work was most likely painted, and my guess is that it was gouache. This paint was popular during these times with illustrators and animators for its versatility. The color has been applied in a flat manner, meaning we do not see visible brushwork, nor do we see any application of value, gradation, or blending. Jim Flora was a popular designer, and his influence is still felt today. What appeals to me is how he stylized his work. We know cats do not look like this, but still understand they are cats. His objects are important, but how he fills the frame to convey his ideas feel very free. My main takeaway is do what you like. Stylize it. Limit your use of color. Realism is not important. Use your space effectively. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful and gained some insights. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment or suggestion below. This has been a Video Production. <laughs>